Hello, everyone. Welcome to Jason Collectibles Catch Up. I'm Spider Man. I'm Lauren. I'm Tim. And I, I had you guys fooled. I'm not, in fact, not Spider Man. Oh, I am, look. Yeah, it's it's me. It's Tyler. It's Spider-Man. Tyler Parker. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I know you guys were like, how'd they get Spider Man? Um, that interview is coming eventually. Well, actually, we did interview Spider Man before. Yeah. Um, so we sure did. Yeah, but uh, well, welcome to another episode of our show. We have a very uh, exciting weekend coming up. Uh, what's coming up this weekend, Tim? Heroes Con. Heroes Con 2022. Yeah, and this, the is the, this is the 40th, 40th yes. anniversary. Yeah. yeah, and we, uh, you could, uh, I'll put a link in this video um, if you want to revisit our interview with Shelton, who is the organizer of Heroes Con. And it was super cool talking to him about the behind the scenes of Heroes Con and what it takes to run it and the history behind it. And mm-hmm. uh, now we're almost here. So what are you guys uh, what are you guys looking forward to about the show? Well, I'm looking forward to seeing all the uh, all the different vendors that uh, a lot of our friends are there. A lot of people we don't know. It's going to be exciting to see some really cool books. Um, not that I'll be able to afford any of those books, but it'll be just great just to see them up and about and just to see uh, everybody back together again after so many years of uh, not being able to do this. So it's going to be really, really cool. It'll be fun to see some cosplay people. You know, some of these guys and girls, they really go out and they really do it right. So it's, yeah. it's going to be fun. What are you thinking, Tim? Well, uh, much like Lauren, uh, I am looking forward to seeing a lot of the vendors. Um, you know, a few of the guys I, I don't see throughout the year uh and at you know this show being the biggest show in our area uh mm-hmm. this is definitely uh the one that brings everybody you know uh vendors from all all around just you know not just our area but uh around the country pretty much and then there's uh, a number of talent there's a lot of talent that's going to be there that i'm super super psyched to to get to meet you know i i like to get autographs and um i usually get at least one or two of those books graded you know so that's it's authenticated and and uh you know roy thomas might be one this time this time Mm -hmm. around he's gonna be there john ramita jr he's gonna be there he's back on spider-man now yeah yeah and and, you know he's one of the greats so um you know daryl bank used to be a time where i used to like to get uh uh original art done by some of these artists but now it's it's sort of gone way out of my my range they charge a whole lot of money these days and i just can't do that anymore but yeah uh, it'll be cool to at least um at least see these people and and say hello yeah, you know what's yeah. what's cool about Heroes Con is um, some of these conventions they uh, they invite a lot of like on screen talent, uh, which is which is cool. Like all that has its place. Um, like if you're looking for a con like that, I know um, there's Galaxy Con in Raleigh in July. But what makes Heroes Con more unique is that they focus more on like comic book writers and artists being their guests. And that Sheldon mentioned that when we interviewed him is that you're not going to see him try to bring in like a huge celebrity um not that these people are not celebrities in the comic book world but like we're not going to bring some you know big a or b list actor to come in you know it, it's focused more on you know the comic book talent which is pretty cool right right and right you're not you're not going to see hollywood there pretty much yeah. right so yeah, which yes. which like i said it has its place you know but it, it is nice that like you know what you're getting into with uh, the heroes con Mm-hmm. yeah yeah and i also like to sit through a lot of panels so mm-hmm. that's my other thing i like to hear what a lot of these guys have to say about the industry and, and what goes on behind the scenes and you know a lot of the you know some of the older talent that you know they could tell you what it was like then and then what's it like now and you know how things have changed and progressed and or you know what they uh liked then versus versus now so what would you guys say um let's say someone's going this weekend that's never gone before 
Um, I'm actually one of my friends uh, has never gone to go to Heroes Con. He's coming with me this weekend. Um, what what should someone who's brand new expect? How big is the con? What do they have there? I would say be prepared to be overwhelmed. Yeah. I mean, seriously, um, when you're on the top level before you get to the escalator and you look out that window and you just see the vast amount of setup that's in that building, it is you don't even know where to start. Right. Uh, and you may not even finish it and think you did uh, mm -hmm. because it is so big. And it is, I mean, they're, they're every, everything's there from t-shirts to people selling keychains, comic books, yeah, pops, toys, toy, yeah. pops, everything. It is, it is overwhelming, but it is super, super cool. It'll take you a good four or five hours just to uh, make sure that you've seen every single booth. So yeah, it's really, it's Depend really, really cool. Depending on the kind of shopper you are with comic books, it might take you multiple days. I know when I, uh, when I've gone to cons <laughs> with, with Tim, Tim's, Tim takes his time a lot more than I do. And, you know, <laughs> I'll be like, okay, you know, I do my lap around and Tim's like still at, at booth number one. And I'm like, all right. <laughs> Another lap. <laughs> and it's, I feel like a kid at like a grocery store sometimes when I'm with Tim, you know, yeah. it's like, when, when we go in dad, you know, when we get in McDonald's and <laughs> I'm hungry, I'm hungry. <laughs> I think, I think at, uh, when we went to the Clemens show, um, I think like Tim jokingly introduced me as his son to somebody, but the guy didn't know any better. And I think he probably thought I was so, <laughs> <laughs> but it is, there is a lot, you know, you will be overwhelmed going to going down those escalators. But yeah. the plus of that if, is if you're looking for something, uh, unless it's something very, very niche, I think you should be able to find it at the oh, show. Yeah. There's, there's people there that will have every book that you could think of, everything. You, you might even see a uh, Action Comics one. You'll definitely yeah. see Amazing Fantasy one there. Mm -hmm. you'll, see, yeah. you'll see every this, book that you could ever imagine, more than likely. This, um, this is the show like yeah if you're looking for that book yeah this is the show to find it and yep. and our uh we, we can kind of tell you this as people who have like our friends with vendors i mean over the past couple of weeks i've seen people posting on facebook and various social medias saying that they're, how they're getting ready right they're showing like oh I'm, I'm pulling this out like they bring out the big the, the big guns you know yep. for this show so it's it's a pretty cool show just to even if you can't afford certain books just me to walk around and be like, oh my gosh, that's a restored Batman number one. You know, I'd say, wow. Yeah. yeah. And just if guys, if you're walking through there and you know, you're seeing vendor after vendor, just remember how much work that they put in weeks and months in advance of this show. They work super, super hard to get ready for a show of this magnitude. And I hope one day that the three of us will be able to get to do it. But um, man, just mm. give give the love to the to the vendor look forward to a great time the cosplay is absolutely mm -hmm. fun you're going to see some great uh just some really cool costumes it, it never never fails there's always great costumes yeah and i as um and uh i'd say with cosplay everyone's pretty pretty friendly i would just make sure if you see somebody that like you're like wow that's a cool costume Make sure you ask somebody first before you like, you know, take a, you know, if you want to take a picture with them, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. most people are very friendly and want to show off their costumes, you know, but just, you know, ask somebody, Hey, I like your, I like your Spider-Man. I like your Kingpin. Can I take a picture with you? And most people will be like, Oh, of course. And they, they enjoy right. it. So that's good etiquette. Yeah. And you know, a fun thing that we should do guys is, is, uh, you know, see if we can get, see how, see how many, uh, people that we could get to, to pose with us, you know, it'd yeah. be kind of fun. I did this thing when I was in, uh, was it Chicago or Orlando with Nick? And uh, I brought this little, um, do I have it in here somewhere? This little Spider-Man ball thing. It was, it was, and I would have the person that was dressed up, I would have them pose with it. Mm -hmm. and it was just, I had all these pictures you know, it was just kind of cool. It was just something different, you know, it's yeah. like, it's like uh, bringing a chair or a little, a little something to every place that you visit. And yeah. It's like a, a flat Stanley. Yeah. 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 
Well, Where's I was that little thing at. I was wondering, guys, if we could go around and Tim, you can start. What is one piece of advice you give to somebody about like going to a convention? And this is not a normal. You know, this is a big one. So, what's the piece of advice you give to somebody trying to have a good con this weekend? Um, look online at the uh, the website for the convention and make yourself an itinerary that's good i like that mm -hmm. what about you lauren i would say just have patience with yourself um because you if you're just gonna have so much to look at and so much to see uh if you have an app on your phone that you keep track of your comics definitely have it updated mm -hmm. have it ready I can't tell you how many times I've gone to conventions and purchase a book, get home to put it away and find out. Oh, that's the best feeling. I've already got it. <laughs> I've already got this book. Yeah. And not that it's a bad thing, but you know, that was maybe $15, whatever you paid for it that I could have spent on something else. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, but uh, so make sure your, your, your collectibles app is, updated and you bring it with you a lot of people still go old school and have their lists with them and that's great too so bring a list of stuff that you're looking for um and just you know just have fun trying to find everything that you're uh hoping to get yeah and i and i, I would say with my my piece of advice is just uh, know that everyone everyone's there trying to have a good time and it can be sometimes a little overwhelming when you're at a booth and it might be a little crowded i know i'm I'm naturally pretty introverted guy. So when you're in that position, when you're like, I'm trying to get to the bees and it's all swarmed, mm -hmm. you know, be patient and it's okay to like speak up and be like, Hey, can I get through in there? Or especially ask the vendor if for questions, you know, if you're like, do you have blah, 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 and they'll help you. Right. The vendors are there to want to sell books. Right. So be sure to ask, you know, be polite and, uh, yeah. Oh, deodorant yeah, there's too. also uh tyler what you're saying is ask them because they may have it but it might not be showed you know it mm -hmm. might not be sitting there they may have it in a box on the floor or behind them um only they're gonna know because they've gone through like i said they've been weeks on end getting ready for this so they know what they brought <laughs> yeah and um also with, with stuff on the rack you know don't be afraid to ask for someone on the rack, you know, can I, get a, can I get a closer look at this or what's your price on this? Um, let's see, I'm trying to, any other piece of advice, you guys? Um, depending on your, your budget and how long you're going to be at the show, uh, food there is very expensive. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, you can either pack yourself a small, small lunch in your bag, you know, or, uh, or just, you know, bring a few snacks. Like that's pretty much what I do. Yeah. There are some good places to eat down in uptown Charlotte. Though, so is. if you, you know, just know you'll be paying, you know, it'll be, you know, going out to eat money, but. Yeah. I, I, I do do that at least one day. It, it is good. <laughs> uh, let me, let me pose a question for you guys. Um, Cause I'm plan my, my plan this weekend is I'm trying to get a key. I'm trying to get a silver age book. Uh, one of like the first appearances of a character in Batman. And um, I know when you first see a book, you're kind of torn because you're like, okay, should I get it now or should I walk around and see if I can find another one? The plus side of walking around is you might find a cheaper one or a better quality one. The downside, you walk away and that, that key book could be gone. So do you guys have any like philosophy on what you, I'm, I don't, I'm not consistent. Like I've, I've done both. I've walked around and found a book. And been like perfect. I've also bought the book immediately because I didn't want to lose it. So, do you guys have any thoughts about that? Uh, uh, go ahead, Lauren. Go first. <laughs> <laughs> We're okay, so okay, polite I'm here. A, a, so, I would first know the value of that of that book, like a ballpark value. And if I see it, you know, the first if I see it, you know, as soon let's just say as soon as I walk in there. And it's under the value, you know, of what I was thinking it was going to be. More than likely, I'd probably just get it at that point. If it's way over, then I'm going to walk around. Yeah. 
yeah, have a, have an idea of what of what you're willing to spend, and um, if it's if it's a large amount of money, um, ask if you can look at it up close. Uh, ask if it could be taken out of the bag and board so that you can look at it, whether they do it themselves or you do it, because you want to check the back. Because mm -hmm. a lot of the guys may or may not know the condition of the back of the book and maybe even on the inside you just want to make sure especially if you're spending a lot of money you want to make sure that that grade is about that grade that is listed on the book right um, because i've been burned a couple of times where i get home and i take the bag out you know to rebag and board it and the back has got a really ugly crease or or, or a tear in it and you're like mm -hmm. dang it because yeah. more than likely you're not going to see that guy for another year and at that point it's over yeah mm -hmm. so know what you're getting know what kind of money you're spending and don't be afraid to ask to see the book you know you know out of the bag and board so you can check it out and don't be afraid to see if you can negotiate in a reasonable oh, way they're yeah. there to make money they're not there to carry that book home yeah they, they want to make money they want to they want to reduce their inventory so that they have less work to do on sunday night right and that and that works with small amounts and large amounts too you know i've had times where i've added up a bunch of like smaller books and it's like i don't know it's 57 and i'm like can we do an even 50 and they're like sure and then the same principle works for like a big book let's say a book is like i don't know listed at 550 and you say can we do 500 they might come back and say what about 520 or whatever but like you can you can shave off a little bit you know they're willing to work with you yep they're definitely there to make money they're not there to take that book home mm -hmm. yeah i mean yeah there's, there's been guys that that will joke and say take it all you know take it yeah. all for x amount of money yeah because that's what they're there to do mm -hmm. yeah what well, do you guys have any other thoughts on this show yeah i'm excited yeah do we know the the start times of each day can we give that information out do we know that off the top of my head no but well i'll do a little dance while you guys look that up <laughs> I, was oh, gonna yeah. I was gonna save this for the end lauren but while we're waiting while we're stalling um I know uh, a new thing I want to start at the end of each episode is um, the uh, is doing a little little question, little wrap up question. And I know with this, uh, that we're in the summertime, uh, we're entering blockbuster movie season. Do you guys have a favorite movie theater snack? You go to the movies. What are you getting? I do. Yeah. The, the most obvious. I have to have my popcorn. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. it's it's that's. Never really been a candy guy, but man, movie theater popcorn is just out of this world. I love it. And the yeah. funny thing is, I eat it one kernel at a time. I don't. Oh, do you don't chug. You don't chug it in I your mouth. I don't do this. I do this. It lasts so much longer. Oh, oh so man. Good. It's funny because I've I've had times where my wife and I have gone out to eat before a movie, and I'm full, and I'll still go and get like a small popcorn. I can't not have popcorn. Yeah, watching the movie yeah same here and i'm i'm telling you like now lauren's got me feeling bad like i'm i'm just like i'm such a beast i i just you know <laughs> there's nothing, nothing wrong with that at all it's just yeah. the way i do it I, I i've been doing that for years and years and years it's just like you know one at a time just lasts longer because if i yeah. if i sit there and chug it down it's i'm i'm like a quarter of the movie and i'm like dang yeah i have nothing left to eat i yeah. used when I was younger, I used to really like, um, uh, I used to like dots, you know, those little, like the little chewy. Yeah. Yep. Those things will pull your teeth right out of your skin. Yeah. I don't, after I had braces, I kind of like, there were some foods I never got back into eating and that was one of them. I'm just like, eh. Oh, the Swedish, <laughs> sweet, Swedish fish. Yes. Are great. You know? Yes. Yep. Um, Tim, is that what, is Snow that your. caps are the bomb too. Oh Yeah. What about you, Tim? Besides movie, do you have anything besides movie theater popcorn, or is that your go-to? Uh, soft pretzels and cheese, man. Oh, oh man, I'm see now convention day Saturday. I gotta have a soft pretzel. 
you yeah, know what they don't have it somebody's going to be in trouble i'm going to go hire a bunch of these cosplays to go rough them up <laughs> you know it's a really cool experience and it's closed in charlotte there used to be one in the epicenter but it's closed now it's called studio movie grill and it was a place where you went and like you saw the movie but also it was like a dinner place so like you yeah. ordered food like there was a button on your seat that you press whenever you like wanted service yeah it was really I neat there's, I, I think there's a place like that at the arboretum called cinnabar, cinnabar oh really yeah yeah, I love, I've done that a couple. There was one. There's a really famous place called the Alamo Draft House in Texas that I went to and saw Spider Man Homecoming. Uh, that was really neat. But you know, it's it's cool when they try to make movie theater experiences a little bit more, I guess, unique like that. Nice. Um, I I've got those times for you, Lauren. Yes. Okay, let's go. Let's put it out show, there for everybody. Show time on Friday, June twenty fourth, eleven a.m. to seven p.m. Yeah, that's a long day that's a long day for those guys yeah yeah real long and then they have to come back saturday saturday june 25th from 10 a.m to 6 p.m man and you and you know these vendors are there like at least at least two three hours beforehand mm -hmm. yeah and after too well maybe not so much after because i think they kick them out pretty quick yeah yeah and then sunday 11 a.m to 6 p.m nice wow. gonna be a good time Big days. Yeah. Well, guys, I am super excited for the convention this Saturday, and uh, we'll be taking pictures. I know we're going to go live at some point. Yeah. We're going to take lots of pictures. We'll take some videos. So we'll have a live video that day, and maybe probably the end of the day or so afterwards, we'll have some lots of pictures uh, to share with you. And then we might do another video uh, the week after going over what we did and what we bought and and how much trouble we're in for spending so much money. <laughs> yes. And and let me just say, you guys uh, that are watching, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please pass it on to at least two friends, three friends, four friends. We're trying to build up our uh, subscriptions on our YouTube channel. So please help us out. Subscribe, share it. Um, we want this thing to blow up. So have a great time at the show. Uh, enjoy it with your family, enjoy it with your friends and just, you know, have a great time. Yeah. Are you guys ready to try something new? Let's do it. All right. You ready? Yeah. Yay. Yay comics. comics. Not bad. Not bad. Yay. <laughs> Comics.